That's right, Ben and Jen, the meeting just ended and the city council approved an agreement between the city and the city manager that he will take personal leave until May 5th. He's also going to have to complete the employee assistance program and any treatment that is recommended to him. They also decided that he will not be able to drive any city vehicles for the next three years. Meriden community members speaking out following the DUI arrest of city manager Tim Kuhn. If you're drunk driving, you don't belong in this city council. I really do believe that the city manager may have had just a lapse of good judgment. The city council meeting Monday evening to discuss his employment with the city. According to state police, Kuhn was driving the wrong way on Route 3 in Wethersfield last week and eventually got onto Route 2 before crashing his car. Troopers say he wasn't hurt and neither was anyone else. But Kuhn is now facing several charges, including driving under the influence. Kuhn released a statement that read in part, I want to apologize to everyone in Meriden for my actions. I have let all of you down. I have received strong support from the city council and others throughout the city, and for that, I am truly thankful. His statement went on to say he's not resigning. However, some residents are calling for that, or for the city council to take action. As leaders, you are entrusted to be our representatives the very best Meriden has to offer. And you must hold yourselves to a higher standard. If you're drunk driving, kick him to the sidewalk. While others spoke out in defense of him keeping his job. It's been a very positive working relationship. We may not always agree, but we always had a, have, have principal discussions. So I certainly support any um, support that you can give him. How dissatisfied we may be with taxes and whatever else is going on. To hold this person's livelihood, their job, their career um, at bay or at stake over maybe just one bad judgment. Kuhn said he will be seeking help through the city's employee assistance program following this incident. And again, part of the agreement is completing that program and any treatment that is recommended to him. He is due in court on May 30th. Live in Meriden, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.